Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my travel makeup bag. I actually was not going to film today, I'm going to be honest, because I am sick. I've been dealing with the cold for like the past week and it doesn't want to go away. And I just have boogers everywhere. <laughs> so I'm constantly, I'm actually feeling better today, but I've been blowing my nose nonstop. It's just, it's bad. It's not cute. But I remember that tomorrow we're going to go out of town. We're going to go visit my husband's family. And well, I'm going to have to be taking my little travel makeup bag. And I'm not, I'm definitely not taking everything I took on my vacation. Because if you don't know, I went on vacation for two weeks to Europe. And I took more than I should have taken. I took way too much makeup. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to do this video in hopes that this helps you. Um, whether you're taking a small trip or just, you know, maybe you just want to see what I took. And for future reference to know what to take and what not to take. Because honestly, if I could go back, I think I would have only taken about half the stuff I took. Because when you think about what you're going to need when you're on vacation, you always want to take more than what you really need. And that's the type of person that I am. I always always overpack always i take way more stuff than i need and this was not any different we brought back so much wine like so much we brought back 17 bottles of wine so yes i was that crazy person with a huge box you know pulling in at the airport to check it in you think makeup is just a little bit here and there oh my god for a second there i got really scared i thought i hadn't been recording because for some reason reason for some reason it's not showing me like the little bars of when i speak like the sound little tracks i don't know what they're called but anyways yes as i was saying i checked this in in my luggage so getting there i did not have to carry it or anything but on the way back i needed to make room for all the junk i was bringing back all the wine which i'm not mad that i brought it back i'm really happy i'm just really annoyed or i was really annoyed at how sorry how heavy this was because i put this in my backpack and i had my this camera and i had my vlogging camera and i had other stuff in there that backpack felt like it weighed 30 pounds and i'm not kidding you it was just my back was sore probably for like a good three four days because of all the weight on the backpack because of all the junk i had here so Anyways, the point of this story is to show you that I'm making this video so maybe this will help anyone avoid all the hassle that I went through. So yes, even though this looks tiny, it's actually way more than I needed. It's way more than I used. So I'm going to go and just show you quickly what I took so you can see everything I took. So I'm the type of person who will always be like, oh, I'm going to take two things just to have variety because I'm that crazy person who freaks if I don't have options i like to have my options but let's start with like primers and setting sprays <laughs> these are all the primers and setting sprays that i took who needs this many for two weeks who i took the wet and wild eyeshadow primer i love this one by photo folk but love. i love this one it's the photo focus by wet and wild i never use this never i took this little mini max strove cream never used it I took this Hourglass Mini Little Primer, never used it. I took this Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield, I think I only used it once. I took this NYX Glitter Primer, never used it. The only primer that I really used was this Becca First Light Priming Filter. I did use this almost every day. Um, I did use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, this little mini one. And I took, I bought this little set from Cover Effects. Um, because I was like, ooh, travel size, I'm going to need that. Never use this Cover FX Illuminating Primer. Never. I never even touch the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops. I never use the Setting Spray. The bronzers, I took three. I The only one I really used was this one by... Um, it's the Lisa Frank Times Glamour Dolls um bitten and bronze matte bronzer i freaking love this bronzer it's a bronzer that i'm wearing today it gives you like this very warm like flush to your skin but it goes really good with my olive skin tone because a lot of bronzers can be very weird on my skin this one is amazing it's pretty much all i used 
I got, I bought specifically for this trip this um, NARS blush and bronzer duo. It's the NARS Laguna and Orgasm blush because um, the NARS Laguna is one of my favorite bronzers, but I never touched this. Or if I did, I think it was only once, but I don't think I ever used this. I took my Bahama Mama, which I did use like maybe once or twice to contour, but like not enough to say I used this the whole trip. And then for blushes, I took well two blushes and then the one in the little um, Nars Duel. I took the Nar ugh, the Narc. I took the Tarte <laughs> Party Bronzer. I I really love this one. I use this all the time, even though it's a travel size. But I never used it on the trip. The only one I really used was this one because I just love. It's just it's just a great blush. It makes me look alive. For concealers, I took three concealers. Why? I don't know. I only used one. I took the Makeup Forever Full Cover. I really love this concealer. This is very full cover. So I took this for that reason. I was going to spot conceal and kind of have like a no makeup makeup day. But yeah, that never happened. Oh, and this exploded. Look at that. Chunky everywhere. Ugh. I have to clean them. I took the Instant Age Rewind. The only one I really used was this Maybelline New York, um, the Fit Me Concealer. So I used this one in the shade 20 Sand. I would use this under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, on my chin, and I would mix it in with this foundation, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is a concoc concoction, concoction. Why can't I say that? This is a little concoction that I made. So it's not just a Makeup Forever. I actually mixed in another olive foundation because this tone was just off but I like this foundation so I mixed it in and it's like perfect for my skin tone it's just it's perfect so I would apply a little bit of this mix it with this and just put it under my eyes a little bit on my chin and on my forehead and that's basically all I did all trip long so these two I did wear I took two brown pencils I took the Anastasia and the it cosmetics uh, brow power pencil i really love this one for more natural days it's actually what i'm wearing today um i love it when i don't want to do like a precise brow i just want to throw on some color so they can look filled and even but i never actually never wore it the one i always used was the anastasia beverly hills brow pencil so i would definitely take this one um another foundation that i took i actually bought this nars um what is this called the sheer glow foundation um and i bought this for the trip but this bottle i was planning to take it it's just too bulky so i emptied out this bare minerals little like foundation mini travel size i emptied it i cleaned it out completely and i put some of that foundation i even named it here I'm like nar sheer glow medium three I never even used this. It's funny because I had it, but I just, I kept going. I just kept using the Makeup Forever little cocktail that I had made, and that worked perfectly fine. So I never used that. I'm going to put it on the side. I never, ever reached into this eyeshadow palette. Not once. The, what, like 14 days, 13, 14 days that I was there, never reached into this. Um, I love this palette. It's one of my favorites, but I just, I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing my makeup like a lot of times we would wake up like around six in the morning i had to get ready in a few minutes um a lot of times we had to pack and go to another apartment because we were going to a complete different location and i just i didn't have time to be doing like an eye look and eye looks are usually would take me the most what i did the whole time which is kind of what i did today i would grab a little bit of this bronzer and I would just put it on the outer corner and blend it in and that would just give me definition and that was perfect for me. I took a little makeup bag in my backpack and I took it out on the plane because I kept reaching into something like this lavender essential oil to relax me and I just let my makeup bag out on my because I'm I keep reaching for it I'm just gonna leave it out and in one of the connecting flights I guess it fell off my seat and I never saw it and I lost it. So I lost like three lipsticks that I really loved. Um, and a few lip liners and travel perfume. So that never made it to my vacation. But I ended up with um, Ofra Mocha. I can't find it. I took it out because I used it um, on Thursday. I used it this week. I took this little Makeup Forever 
mini lipstick i did use this but i never used this um sephora cream lip stain for powders i took my rcma powder i have it in the little sifter here i did use that every day i took this little mini travel size jane jane iredale um powder i never used it um let's see i took a, a the wet and wild skinny tip eyeliner never used it the only mascara I used was Marc Jacobs. And to be honest, I only wore mascara like four days. So I tried using this one one day, which is the Skinny Mascara. It is their waterproof version, which is going to be perfect for my lower lash line because it always smudges. I used this once on my upper and lower lash line. And oh my god, it was a pain to remove. Did use this, but only once. I took a pencil sharpener. I took... um. I had a lot of brushes more than I needed so honestly the only ones I used was this bronzer one right here never used any of the eye pencils none of them but the only brushes I used the entire trip were these four so this these four and my beauty blender this one right here so this one to set my eye under eyes this one for a bronzer and this one for blush and this is the only eye because this is a duo brush and this is the only eye brush that I use and this is actually what I use today I love this just to messily pack it on the outer corners and just blend it in and this little brush I put it in my back because I was like I can just pinch it and I can contour because I didn't have anything to contour I might like, just pinch it and contour but I, I actually ended up loving this brush to bronze because my face it's pretty small my features are pretty small so most like bronzing brushes are too big and i feel like it gets all over my face but this just fits perfectly in the hollows so this is gonna be um one that i keep using yeah oh and i took an eyelash curler and i took this little whitening thing for the nars foundation because the nars foundation is too dark for me it probably isn't too dark anymore because i got, i got really tan i feel like i look so dark on camera I got super tan from that trip. So I took that little whitening NYX mixing medium. I took it in a little sample thing because I did not want to take the big bottle. So that was everything I took. And just to show you what I would really take if I ever went back anywhere. I would just take these three brushes. Maybe throw in a brush. Maybe one of these dose of colors because I love them. My beauty blender. I would take my eyelash curler. I would take the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, my RCMA powder. I would take my Becca All Nighter Priming Filter. Uh, I would take this bronzer, definitely. I would take the Marc Jacobs um, mascara. I love this mascara. I noticed that I love the travel size more than the full size. I would definitely take this little combo here that I love and I. Anytime I've been wearing makeup since I came back, and even on the trip, this is all I've been wearing. I don't even put foundation all over my face. Again, I just put it under my eyes, on my chin, a little bit on my upper lip, and on my forehead, and I just blend that out. And if there's anything left over, I might just smear it, you know, take it on the uh, peri perimeter of my face. But that's it. I, I, I haven't been wearing anything heavy, and I like it. And I would take this blush by Tarte. I would take maybe my Bahama Mama. This would be debatable depending what kind of trip I'm taking. I would definitely take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil and the Cosmetic Brow Powder Power Pencil. And honestly, for lipsticks, I just repurchased everything that I lost. I did a little blog in it, so I don't know if I'm going to be uploading this one first or that one. But I would only take my 1995 lipstick, which is a favorite of mine for like such a long time i would definitely take my two lip liners that i never got to use because i lost which are the oh this one's not it this one is the one i'm wearing today it's by ColourPop. it's called wow nothing but i would take curvy and 1995 which i can't find i just bought you how can i not find you did i just lose you again I think I just lost my other pencil. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look for it. Um, the only thing I hate about these ColourPop little caps is that they always fall off. Get in there. 
So I would definitely take this one, those, and I think I would take my Mocha by Ofra Cosmetics, and I think that would be everything. So this is everything I would take. Look how empty this is. This is probably everything I'm going to take for the weekend because I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. But what a difference does it make to go from something like this to go... Oh my god, I can't, I can't even hold it. Like, let me see if I can move the camera. Why is this thing so hard? Oh, I think I have it. I need to loosen it up. Yeah. Look at all that junk. Can you see? All that junk. All this mess right here. Not this. This stuff I'm testing out. But it, it's, it makes such a difference to just kind of be, to simplify and to really just take what you really need. Now for next time that I want to travel, I know exactly what to take. And I hope this video helped you guys out, you know, in case you want to travel. Of course, every person's needs are different. If you're someone who loves to wear makeup every single day of your life, you might want to take everything I took. And if that works for you, perfect. But for me, I really learned what I really need. And next time I go somewhere, then I'm going to think twice before carrying all this crap that I won't even use. So again, <laughs> that's not even including my skincare because in my skincare, I filled up these two little bags completely. So again, this thing felt like it weighed like 15, 20 pounds. And so again, I was not going to film today. I did such a basic ass makeup look. I'm barely wearing makeup. I'm just sick. I'm going to be blowing my nose. I'm probably going to wash this off as soon as it's over. I have to go and check on my little nephew because his class is almost over. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be uploading a few more videos soon. I have a vlog that's, like I said, that's going to be going up. And I have more things I want to film. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I won't upload this until next week. But I hope, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you on my next one. Bye.